the hell is going on, Americans? Jericho Green here with you once again. And it is Miércoles. I mean Wednesday. So it was Wednesday to you. It is Monday to me. Man. Big things going on in the Green household this weekend. My son is three. He got his first big boy bed complete with Avengers sheets. Thanks, Mom. So, your girl, Nancy Pelosi, one half of Shalosi, says that impeachment for Trump is a no-go. She says, quote, he's not even worth it. Wow. So what happened? Because all we've been hearing from the moment he came down that fucking elevator is impeach, impeach, impeach. If you ask Aunt Pearl, a.k.a. Maxine Waters, out of the 43rd District in Los Angeles, it's Impeach 45, Impeach 45. So I'm guessing her boss, a.k.a. the devil, because Shalosi is an escaped demon from hell, I'm thinking somebody above her said, hey, man, this Mueller investigation ain't gonna come up with shit, so knock it off. No more. No mas. Like Roberto Duran said, no mas. I'm thinking that's what happened because why else would they stop? I mean, this is it. He's all they have. The mainstream mediocres, Democrats, Trump is all they have. What are they going to do after his second term and he's gone? It's all about, she says that he's unfit mentally to be president. So you're telling me you're going to let us have a mentally unfit president? I mean, if this is for real, if you really think he's not mentally capable to run this country and you really think he's that bad of a guy, why would you allow him to be the leader of our country? Why would you allow that to happen to us? If this is for real, you should be shouting from the roof t- rooftops every minute of every day that Trump is a bad guy and is unfit to be president and he should be gone. Not, uh, he's not worth it. And it's easy for you to shout from rooftops. Nancy, you're a fucking gargoyle. You're on top of the building already. But it's a bunch of bullshit. Not only Aunt Pearl, but you got the Somali agent, Omar, signed that petition to impeach bullshit. But all these people who are the loudest about impeachment Their home districts are all fucked up. Aunt Pearl, she has some of the worst performing schools in the country. There are schools in her district where the children, more than 90% of the children can't do math at a grade level, at their grade level. Over 90%. You have gentrification going on. You have racism going on. Violence. But you're sitting up here telling us we need to get rid of the president? Omar's district is the number one terrorist recruiting center in America. Loco Cortez, that motherfucker. She's turning away jobs by the thousands. Some of the jobs, some of the entry level jobs for these poor brown people that she seems that she claims to be fighting for, their jobs are being lost to automation because they want to push a fucking $15 an hour minimum wage. And Pelosi? Where do we start with California? That's your home state. Taxes through the fucking roof, shitty roads, Californians leaving by the hundreds of thousands every year. The politics are fucking insane. You got Gavin Newsom as our governor? Who wants to tax fucking drinking water? And text messages? Bitch, are you crazy? You damn right this shit. And she says it would be too divisive for the country. Are you serious? Your mission for years, especially since Trump has become president, is to divide the country. The poor little babies at the border. Racism. Sexism. Xenophobia. Homophobia. Islamophobia. How many fucking phobias and ists and ics are there out there? 
My fucking goodness. That has been the Democrats' mission is to divide and conquer the country. Everything's racist. If you're white, it's not right. You're a white male, Christian? You better fucking run for cover. You better buy one of those bunkers, those underground bunkers they have on those fucking, uh, what do they call that shit? Those doomsday preppers? You better get some MREs and fucking toilet paper and seeds. You shouldn't be out in daylight. You're a white Christian male. You got a target on your fucking back. But if you're colored, you can say all the crazy shit you want to. If you're a colored woman, you can say even more crazy shit. If you're a colored woman, part of the alphabet soup division, the LGBT ABC, holy shit. There's nothing you can't say. Working class people, the elites, you are the fucking elites. You're not for working class Americans. You try to pit us against each other with the fucking government shutdown. Two devices. Shut the fuck up. The ones yelling the loudest about impeachment should be impeached. That bullshit with the uh, with the uh, Garth from Wayne's World. I mean, Blazy Ford. You weren't trying to divide the country over that shit. And your home state of California is also home to the fucked up weird perverts of America. I mean Hollywood. Please give me a list of things that Trump has actually done. That's bad. He's actually done. Not some crazy bullshit that you allow your feelings to get mixed in with and turn it into some crazy ass shit. He said Mexicans are rapists. Shut the fuck up. He said you could grab women by the pussy. Shut the fuck up. There's video evidence of that. So please, show me where he actually did something wrong other than threaten your fucking power. And not be beholden to lobbyists like you. Like you are. Impeachment. You damn right you need to shut that shit down. But what are you going to do, Nancy? What are you going to do about Omar and Loco Cortez? They're running, running wild in the Democrat Party. You can't shut them up. Who are you going to come out and say doesn't understand the English language next? Who are you going to try to cover for next? Like one of them sorry ass moms whose son is a piece of shit, but you're constantly saying, not my boy. He didn't do that. They were out to get him. Yeah, but we found him with the gun and blood all over him. No, not my baby. He didn't do that. That was somebody else. He was with me all night. That's you, Nancy. Covering for these fucking idiots. Impeachment. Man, get out of here with that shit. You're calling off the impeachment because you know that Mueller investigation is a fucking waste of our time, money, and give a shit. Three years. Almost three years. You've had an endless supply of money and resources, subpoenas, whatever you want. And didn't they just say they're going to uh, investigate 81 of the people in Trump's orbit? So if that's going to be so fruitful, why would you call off the impeachment? Because if you find something in this investigation that's actually worth the shit, that's going to be the next step. So why give up on it now? Probably because this entire investigation has been a sham, a farce, a waste. Well, X amount of people have been indicted. X amount of people have been sent to prison. Yeah, for bullshit that has nothing to do with Trump. You guys got to dig up tax fraud from 10 years ago. And then send a SWAT team to arrest a bunch of fucking old men. A bunch of geriatric motherfuckers who probably have their teeth in a jar next to the bed. That's a threat to our country. That's who you need to send fucking armed FBI agents after. Man, get out of here with that shit. They're going to find nothing on Trump. I've said it before. This man crossed every fucking T and dotted every fucking I before he ran for president. You think he didn't know what you monsters were capable of? And especially after he got in 
after he dipped his toe into the insanity that is fucking politics, you think he didn't realize, holy shit, I better be on the up and up, I can't do anything wrong. So now you think he's going to do something worthy of impeachment. And I was inclined to say, you know what? For once, I actually agree with Pelosi. No, nope, because it's more bullshit. You're not doing this because it's fucking the right thing to do. And this impeachment talk needs to stop from everybody. You're not doing it for the right reasons. You lied to us from the beginning. Fucking what about Clinton? We got that full on tape committing perjury. And the Democrats said, well, I mean, he, he, uh, he got saved by the Senate. But we got this full on tape committing perjury. What would happen to you and me if they had videotape evidence of us committing perjury? We wouldn't be saved by anybody. We would be in fucking jail serving federal time. The federal sentences are long as shit. Those federal sentences are long like a line in an amusement park. You ever stood in one of those motherfuckers for two hours for a minute and a half ride? Those federal sentences are long and we would be serving every bit of it unless you have what? Say it with me, class. Starts with a G, ends with an E, with an N. Green. Money. If you got money, you're free to go. Ask Ted Kennedy. Ask him about the girl at the bottom of the fucking lake. Man, get out of here with that shit. You better stop those impeachment calls. You better tell Aunt Pearl to shut the fuck up. Tell Omar to go back to fucking Minnesota and take care of all the fucking terrorists that her district is hemorrhaging into our country. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's my Monday. Where am I headed? To this damn rat race. Now, you know how it goes, people. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I have been released from Twitter prison. I'm out now. And it's still fuck you, Twitter. But follow me anyway. At green underscore Jericho. Please utilize the PayPal link in the description box. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.